All right. So we should be good. Mic test, mic test. Make sure the audio for this is good. Hold on, because I got to make sure everything is good right there. I might have to turn the desktop audio up a little bit because this is kind of low. So y'all should be able to hear the game well enough. You should be able to hear me well enough. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, let me back up out of this real quick. That was my Discord. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Well, first off, forget, forgive the lighting. You guys know I don't have the best lighting. But welcome to the launch of DNF Duel. It is a game that was created by Arc System Works based on the Dungeons Fighter, the Dungeon Fighters Online uh, MMO. And uh, I played a couple of the beta tests. Oh, this. I thought I turned my headphones down too low. But I played a couple of the beta tests, or the closed betas, and I liked the game. I didn't get a chance to play. I think there was like three closed betas, and I didn't. I only got a chance to play like a few of them. But uh, most definitely, I definitely want to get a habit of playing this because this game was so good during a closed beta. I just couldn't, like, I couldn't not play it. You know, it was one of those fighting games that I had to get a hold of. So we're gonna do some lab sessions, and uh, we're gonna go through every character. In regards to their skills, their moveset, and uh, see what we're working with here and what, to, what we have to expect in DNF Duel, whoever the hell this is. Some DLC character that we don't know about. I gotta turn my phone off. I already know I'm gonna have to hear this thing a million and one times. It seems like every time I turn the game on, that's when my phone wanna ring. Like literally every time every time I turn my phone on that's when it wants to ring it, it doesn't want to ring at any other time but let me turn the game on oh yeah it's it's blow my phone up season all right so first off we got hitman now mind you all these characters are based on the classes of the DNF uh, of the dungeon fighters online uh, game so these these characters are actually named after the classes of those characters so we have hitman who's basically like an assassin type character from what I can remember. Swiftmaster, uh, Ranger, Berserker, Vanguard, Launcher, Enchantress, Troubleshooter, Dragon Knight, Konoichi, Inquisitor, Strucker, Grappler, Crusader, and Ghostblade, and whoever this hidden character is. I don't even know if this is available on Steam yet. I didn't even check, so I guess we'll find out sooner or later. But um, during the beta, the one character who I excelled at playing with was Dragon Knight. Um, I've seen a lot of people using Striker. I use Berserker as well. I tried to use Gunslinger. Gunslinger just isn't my type of character, or rather, I just didn't have enough time because because of the of the the available time during the beta. I didn't have enough time to use him and get familiar with him. Crusader was another one of my mains during the beta, so. We're gonna start from Hitman. We're gonna start with him. Let's see what he's working with. Now I think this is only like a four button. How do you? Okay, you hit Y to select the color. If you want to check. Kind of got a Dante's uh, from Devil May Cry vibe going on there. Uh, let's just go with the regular. The colors really don't matter right now. Sky Tower. Ocean Express, Tavern. I think I got a, quite a few stages. We're just gonna stick to Sky Tower. Tilt this down. Tilt this down as well. We click off of this. Okay. You guys should be able to see me well enough. Yeah, Eris always has his little spy glass on, so people can still see him. So, 
button set up for this. The standard attack, standard attack A, B, skill attack, which is circle. Um, I'm using a PS4 controller, so I don't know, I don't know why they're showing me Xbox controls. This this game isn't even on Xbox. That's the funny thing. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, I guess it's irrelevant. Um, grab is A B. I'm assuming that's X and square. Guard is G, which is right trigger. Um, or right bumper. Uh, awakening move is left trigger, left bumper. And then um, let's do a button test before I start going into this. So square. MP skill attack square. Okay, so A B. That's grab. R one is uh, L one is grab. Awakening move is L two. Guard is R two. Conversion is uh, R one. Should be good. Alright. Do they have a character display? I guess they don't have a move list unless oh here we go, command list, alright. So the hitman. Can you set up? Okay, so this final strike is A. This build drill. Holes. Let's go through these one at a time. In fact, let's turn this gauge settings. We need recovery, max guard. Okay, so that was the final strike. It's just a wide hit area that causes uh, damage. So he has the build drill, which is down in A. Which is a sure you can. The shortcut is down in A. Forward or fireball motion is the cover call. So I wonder if there's a damage difference. Combo damage, 218. No, there's no... Okay, so there's no damage necessarily. No, uh... Damage reduction for using shortcuts. No damage reduction for using shortcuts. That's crazy. The sweep. That's a hurricane kick motion. Helix Drive. Well, people are going to be using that a lot. I 
I don't think these are insta kills. I think these are do a lot of damage. Gauge settings. This. Mm. I need to see like combo uh challenge. These are just the MP skills, his awakening skills. Oh, okay, so they got his, his regular skills, his MP skills, his regular, his awakening effect. So it allows the move Shatter Strike to be used. After he's a varying. Catch him after that. Damn. This is a pretty simple character. Here we go with this bullshit. I'm so happy I turned my phone off. Then Dusk Wings, which we showed. Let's look at his regular skills. B, which is. This doesn't cost no meter, from my knowledge. Let's take a look at the gauge. I need to see what I'm working with here. Turn that awakening mode off. No, it doesn't cost any meter, that's just regular. I didn't even count. Oh, it looked like it didn't. We got deadlift, which is a launcher. Agile maneuver. Get in kind of quick. Knocks down the opponent, hits the opponent, even when knocked down. The move that is easy to use for combo execution and more. It did six when airborne. Okay, so you can combo that. I wonder. Oh, you can juggle them. that gauge out in order to get everything that you everything that you want let's, let's look at a realistic scenario let's do a media recovery wonder if I can get if it's possible let me see 
Because you could probably connect the awakening skill with that. I don't see why not. You can. <laughs> This right here is delayed, unless you do that super early. Well, he doesn't have an air dash, or at least it doesn't. He doesn't have an air dash. Somebody else gonna learn how to juggle real good with that. This is basically what it is. So can you and it's good for air to air. Unless you jump early, that's not it. Guarding is gonna take some good use to. I'm pretty sure they got like an advanced guard and could push back. Yeah, so that was uh that was Hitman. He's a pretty basic character. His air to air is kinda I mean this is the only good air to air thing that he has. His aerials is ass, unless you spin meter. And even then it's kinda like iffy. But at least you can combine that. Well, you can. You can actually juggle them off the ground with that. Wow. That is a juggle. That is far. Actually, get him with that. Not bad. We'll move on to the next character. Huh? 